My name is James Williams Jr. This is Come Forever Remember Dude. This is part two for what I've seen on 2MoonNews.com. So, if you got my title video, you understand that um, I'm touching on some stuff. And yet again, this is not for children, but this is about children. I, I watched a lot of stuff today on 2 Moon. You know, nothing gratefully upset me more about than what the first video was. That, like, upset me greatly. But this here... Is just downright wrong. Alright? It's so wrong that I have to actually think before I let these words come out my mouth. I have to actually process this. We as people have an unwavering knowledge to raise our children right. Now, let me show you something. This is a toy right hanging again. Now I don't have the remote, remote, anything I can actually use to simulate a cigar, a cigarette, a blunt, or a joint. Because I've never done drugs in my life unless they were prescription and I didn't want to do them. But we got kids as young as 10 or 13 popping up gang, I'm sorry, that's not a gang sign. I think that's a gang sign. I don't know, but they're doing this shit, posting stuff, you know, I'm bad, let me do it with the, let me do it with the right hand, I'm bad, hold on, um, I'm not a gang member, alright, what's side? no, whatever, so they're posting, and they're blogging with loaded guns, and they're doing things, and I'm sitting here, I'm thinking to myself, who is raising these kids? Here's where the worst part comes in. And I don't want to sound like an asshat. And I don't want to be a reverse racist to my people. But they're all young black people. Come on, guys, man. We can't keep making bad marks on society. Don't you know everyone in the world thinks that we are the lowest form of society? And look at the They're not wrong. As long as we're teaching our kids, you know, go, you know, post up. You got your guns, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, we got these guns right here. We got nunchucks. No, I have nunchucks. But also, I know how to use them. I don't use them as an intimidation factor. I don't go around starting fights. I finish them. But I got these young kids, these young kids of color. And there were, like, really bad incidences on Tumu. They had this woman whose younger brother was flashing guns and went to school and did gang signs and was threatening people and then when it's like they, they broadcast it on the news and this um this kid's sister had a hell of a rap sheet from the law enforcement herself and she's raising this kid because their parents are non-existent or absentee and i'm sitting here I'm like what the fuck yo where did we go wrong in society where black people just decided to just not give a fuck about the rest of black people and just say, let's just make everybody look bad. Let's go out and start rocking gang signs. Let's go out and give people the fingers and all this and guns and joints and like this and this side, what side? No, I can't, I can't pretend like there's a joint in my hand and do the gang signs. You know, they got all this crap going on. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself... I watched a movie once with Wesley Snipes and Sean Connery, and he said that um, bad neighborhoods would be the savior of us all. I would say he's about 10% right. But we don't need to put that burden on our children. We don't need our children trying to have uh, gang rituals and gang signs as rites of passage into being black people. We don't need that shit. And there's always going to be somebody else out there that's going to be better than the guy who thinks he's bad. One thing I can say about myself, I've never ever claimed to be bad. People call me a badass, and if that's what they want to believe, hey, knock yourself out. The only thing I got to do is stay alive and not let people punch me in the face. You know, where hopefully I can still take a hit to the face. But, you know, I ain't been in a fight in a long time. And, you know, the thing is, you know, even a badass can have a bad day and shit can just go wrong. But these kids, they're kids, man. They don't need to be worrying about, uh handguns and shit, they should be playing with G.I. Joe and video games and going outside and playing the park. 
in a safe park where they can't get shot up by us adults that are idiots that are having handgun issues. They should not be having handguns in the first fucking place. I want you guys to think on that. I'm sure all of you have kids. All of you have nieces and nephews. And I know all of us people of color have nieces and nephews we would like to see make it through school and prosper and have some kind of a life so that people won't think that black people did absolutely nothing with themselves. But it all starts at home with who's ever raising these children. Keep that in mind when you start popping them out. Raise them right. Don't let them be a statistic and don't let them mark the rest of our culture or our people with statistic dumb shit. I'm James Williams Jr. Just come for having number two. Be seeing you. Really soon, actually.